Hey you guys, DT here. Welcome back to another video and today of course we're gonna jump in into another Boom Beach episode because you know it's another day and another boom battle. So I know you guys have been asking me about the video that I may have promised you in my task force and maybe in some Skype messages. Um, I did promise you a video of a little bit of a puppy love from the puppies that I fostered for a very short period of time. So don't you worry, that video is coming up. I will tell you that they were kind of a lot of work there were two of them and uh, they were very hyper and very excited to hang out with me and basically did not really want to sleep all night long so i probably on and off only got about two hours of sleep before they traveled to the forever home so um yeah i've been trying to catch up on sleep since and uh yeah the video is going to be up uh in just about a day or so i am going to be uh, putting it up and I will let you guys know when that happens on both Twitter and my Facebook and um, if you want to see pictures of the pups they are already on the Facebook page so you can go ahead and check that out and they are also on my Instagram page so if you cannot wait for the video and you just really want to see what they look like you can always go and check it out there but now let's go jump in into boom and boom some bases baby Okay, you guys, so as I said, another day, another Boom Beach battle. And for now, I have my eyes on a few of the NPC bases and a few of the real-time player bases. So hopefully by the end of this episode, I can start an upgrade and, of course, continue on pushing my favorite project at the moment, my machine gun. And I know it is absolutely irrational and you don't have to understand it. It is just something that I wanted to do, so I am on my way to doing it. So the upgrade to level 18 completed a few hours ago and now I am trying to get to level 19 and of course I am gazillion diamonds away from that but you know that just means that I have to push it a little harder and battle so I am for once boosting my uh, resource reward statue and I'm also gonna boost the GB statue before I go in so let me grab ooh, 160k in walk that is lovely let me grab the underwater treasure and I'm gonna hold off of um, claiming the daily reward as well as the operation reward because this may actually become um, you know a good choice between wood and iron depending on how far I get through in these real-time player attacks so let's go ahead and boost the GBE statue obviously going to boost um, uh, a 38% masterpiece and let's actually see what sculpture I got here. Okay, 22% power stone chance. Nope, let's reclaim that. And let's start another um, another build over here. Okay, so one of the um, bases that I've been looking at is, um, I believe it has something to do with a snake. That was the name. Oh, there it is, Snake Neo. So the resource amount is pretty healthy over here and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. And let's go ahead and do that. And of course, there's an additional little bonus. One of the rocket, one of the shock launchers is being upgraded right now, which is really, really lovely and works out to my advantage. So let's go ahead and jump in and start with clearing up this corner over here. And of course, I'm gonna start with clearing off the uh, rocket launchers first before I go for anything else. So this one is done and let's go for rocket launcher number two and then we have rocket launcher number three. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go for this SL over here because that may clear off that second rocket launcher. Let's see whether or not that's gonna happen. And no, it didn't. So let's go ahead and use one artillery shot. And I am gonna use two artilleries over here. Mm, actually, let's do one barrage and then I finish, I'll finish. i finish it off with an artillery just because I feel like barrage can actually help out. Ooh, lovely. But barrage was definitely helping out with uh, that sniper tower over there. And now we kind of take that down and let's go ahead and take this one down as well. Um, and from now on, we can actually just start deploying. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy on the right hand side over here and I'm gonna flare at the uh, cannon although let me see where the troops are gonna go I'm hoping they're not gonna separate and if they're not then I'm not gonna use the flare okay I'm gonna save the GB for flare and I'm gonna do a shock instead over here so let's go ahead and get into this base you guys let's drop some crits over here okay now keeping an eye on the boom cannon and that mortar there because the mortar can definitely zap a ton of my zooks. Okay. 
And now let me actually flare my Zookas after they're finished with that boom cannon over here and regroup my troops. Let's go ahead and close these guys up. And then I'll just heal you guys over in this corner and we will regroup and go from the right again. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna shock this cluster. It's going to help with both the flamethrower and the boom cannon and the sniper tower. Uh, basically, it was overall just a really good use of GBE. So let's do this one more time. And let's do this one more time. And the uh, shock blaster on the back, I don't know that it's going to be a huge issue. I think we're still going to be able to get through it without any problems. Let's go ahead and throw crits over here once again. And this base is going down, you guys. So Snake Neo, thank you so much for your resources. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Well, actually, you probably do. <laughs> and I appreciate it in exactly 428,000 in uh, wood, 385 in rock, and 300 plus K in iron. So thank you. And 12 and 12 losses on the men's side. No ladies lost here. Okay, so let's see how much closer we've actually gotten now. Ooh hoo hoo we definitely... That was a huge help. We went down from like two something K to 1200. All right, so let's go ahead and do a few of the, um, let's do a few of the NPCs until my troops are done training because I feel like we can probably get through NPCs with no probs. And look at these beastly, beastly cannons, you guys. I am actually kind of like, what? Why did I do this? This cannon situation is out of control. Okay, come on, Cannon, come down, seriously. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is instead of wasting GBE on taking those down, I will use the GBE on uh, on shocking them. All right, let's do this, and let's do that. And let's just hope that Zookas will get there in time to back the boys up. All right, I'm going to redo a... Okay, I'm going to do this right now over here. Come on, Zookers. Come on, Zoogers. Help me out here. Let's put critters over here, critters over there. And I'm gonna shock this cluster over here. Let's do critters over here one more time. And this is going down, but I did lose a ton of troops, you guys. It's okay, though. I lost a ton of heavies and a few... Basically, I lost a ton of everything. So that means I'm gonna have to wait until I retrain again. Um, if you guys are here for the very first time and um, you have never watched my videos before, you will shortly find out that I am very careful with how I spend diamonds. And I mean, I'm sure you can't blame me because diamonds are really important in this game and you gotta save them for really uh, important upgrades and special, special occasions, so to say. But uh, I actually think we're getting there closer and closer, sooner and sooner much faster than I thought we would be. We're already at 1,038 diamonds, so all I gotta do is take out a few more real-time player bases and we will be golden, you guys. So let's go ahead and keep plowing through these. Now, that would be way too dangerous. What I need right now is, what I need right now is Fearless, because I can take down Fearless with absolutely no casualties and uh, just like one boat of Zookas, but I don't think I have any Fearless bases left on my map you guys looks like fearless is all out so i'm gonna have to wait until i am retrained so i'll catch you in a second okie dokie you guys all troops are ready and we are now ready to rock and roll and i am really sorry in the beginning of the video my microphone was rubbing against my shirt so it kept making a bunch of static noise so hopefully it is much much better now and um, the second base that I wanted to get through today is this one that's called Ha Ha so immediately when I saw the name I was like oh my god Nelson from the Simpsons if you're a Simpsons fan smack the like button of this video and let me know that you are hashtag Team Lisa or hashtag Team Bart, and then I will tell you what team I'm in. Uh, but anyway, I am uh, trying to see whether or not this base is worth my time or not. He's boosting, uh, he's boosting his um, his health and damage per second. Uh, he's got some ice happening there, but I want to see if I'm gonna be able to get through it. I'm gonna try and attack, and if by the time I'm through with my GB. Things are not looking out for me. I am probably just going to retrieve and trying to get back onto this base a little bit later. Uh, ideally, it would be pretty sweet to get it because the resources that come with it were definitely, definitely worth it. 
No, seriously, just like one zap and I couldn't get that. Okay, let's try to get this one over here. And then we're gonna have three more situations on the left, which are not ideal, but hey, it's quite okay. I guess, what am I gonna do? All right, I'm gonna spend an artillery here and of course another artillery. Hopefully that's gonna clear that. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna try to clear this one out. And hopefully, yep, that sniper tower came down with it. So that was kind of good. So it gave me an extra GBE there. All right, let's clear that off. All right, and now I only have 39 GBE, you guys. So I'm probably gonna have to jump in without Wow, that's difficult. I feel like I kind of have a shot, but I don't know that I do because, man, he has, he's got a lot going on on his base. So actually, whatever, you only live once. Let's go ahead and do it. What am I gonna do? Let's drop the crits in front so they can clear up a few of the mines. And then I'm just gonna hope that that will be enough. Oh no, this is a bloodbath, you guys! Alright, let's do this now. Alright, let's shock the rocket launcher again. And let's just steer to the right. Let's go off over here. Okay, I'm gonna cover you and cover you. Let's get over in the corner and see if we can just finish it off from here. And once I'm done with the cannon and that... Um, Sniper tower, I'm gonna put them right next to the gold storage. Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's put them over here. Come on. Come on. Let's put you right over here, you guys. Oh no! This. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. The rocket launcher is still within the range, which is terrible, terrible news. Uh, and I'm obviously going to go down, you guys. I've got nothing. I've got no GBE, so this was terrible, but whatever, you know, what the, What do they say these days? YOLO? So YOLO it is. I... Bah! Okay. Okay, all my troops are dead. I'm gonna go ahead and retrain, and I guess Nelson got his haha -ha on me on this one. Uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions as to how I can get through this one, maybe with different troop combo, but even with tanks and medics, you guys, geez, these are beastly. Look at that. 12,800 in health, and over 1100 in hit points so this will basically take out my tank in no problem no time at all so well guess what you guys i'm gonna go ahead and reload again and actually let me go and swap this one for zookas instead and i will be back in just a second and by that i mean like it's gonna take me 43 minutes but see you soon Okay, you guys, so basically I retrained my troops, I recorded a bunch of attacks, I did four attacks, and then I rendered the video and I realized that my microphone has been so staticky and it was so annoying that I decided to do a voiceover on top of it after the fact. And I'm sorry this is not happening in real time, but I figure it will be much better than you listening to a bunch of that for like seven minutes. So um, I hope you're gonna forgive me for that. But basically here is me attacking a few more NPC bases, surprise shock, a few of fearless, and I attacked one real time player bases because he had a lot of loot and it did seem super, super easy. So all of these attacks I've done without retraining my troops, I was just writing out what I had left. Uh, and that was actually pretty easy. And so um, at the beginning of this video, I told you guys that I have so many things I want to do with my base. I want to upgrade my machine guns, I want to upgrade my HQ, of course I want to upgrade my HQ to level 21, of course I would like to upgrade my, um, you know, my, my uh, gunboat energy, um, my gunboat to level 21 so I have more gunboat energy and I'm able to just attack a lot more, so, so many things happening, but you know, by the end of this video, when I was finished uh, with all the attacks and I wanted to hop off and start playing Clash Royale, I was like, you know what, I don't have enough loot to upgrade machine guns. So I'm going to be a typical woman and I'm also going to be a smart person because I don't want to leave that loot sitting there overnight and get raided like a million times. So I decided to upgrade something else and I've actually upgraded one of my boom cannons. Uh, it is currently level 11 so I started an upgrade to level 12 so, so that, like I said, I don't go to bed and then wake up to a raided base because y'all know when that happens it like totally crushes you early in the morning. You wake up 
and you realized that your base was raided while you were asleep and you had some great plans for that loot and then you just you wake up and you're like, man, I thought this was gonna be a great day and now I'm just so, so sad all day. So that's why I started that upgrade. And basically in the next episode, you guys, like I said, I am all about map cleanups right now. I'm gonna crush those bases, NPC, real-time play bases so I can get that loot, so I can upgrade everything that I possibly can. I wanna be, you know, I'll, obviously I love attacking, but I also wanna be able to defend my base when I'm not around. So. Thank you so much for checking in. Sorry about the mess up with the mic. I will catch you in the next episode of Boom. Until then, DT is out.